Before the video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did give myself a manicure prior to the night before with some poly gel and that's why my fingernails look so super cute. They came out so cute, I wanted to do a nice little short white nail and these came out perfect. Good morning you guys. Today we are doing a self care day, a very much needed self-care day it's been a crazy past two weeks for me i just started a new job and things are starting to roll again so yeah it's just been it's been stressful it's been crazy so last night jc and i had date night so that was really nice i really needed that the room is a little bit messy so i'm gonna clean up first because i can't function and do what I need to do for me unless my room and space is clean. So I'm gonna just clean real quick and you guys can just watch me do that. And then we're gonna make ourselves some breakfast. All right, you guys, so I've just brushed my teeth and I just made a smoothie. The smoothie basically contains pineapples, mangoes, strawberries. I added a scoop of peanut butter for protein and then some almond milk. Um, it's extremely thick, so hopefully I can get it down quickly. Not quickly, but I wanna get it down in a decent amount of time. I don't like to spend too much time drinking these smoothies because sometimes I don't end up finishing them. So, yep, we just have a breakfast smoothie. And in the meantime, while I do that, I'm just gonna edit the first portion of this video just so that I can get that chunk done. Um, this is a form of self-care for me. I really enjoy editing and I think it'll help push me to just keep like working and doing things like that just to keep my mind busy. That is a form of self-care for me. I want to get this done before I do everything else for the rest of the video, just so that I have this part of the video squared away. That's just how my brain works. That's how I like it. Anyway, I'm going to drink this breakfast smoothie and then I will see you guys after I am done. All right, you guys, so now it is time for my favorite part and that is the shower. I'm just going to show you everything that I use first. So this right here is what I use to wash my face. You turn it on and it vibrates. You can decrease the speed of the vibration or increase it however you like. 
And then I use Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 soap to wash my face. If you follow me on Instagram or you know me, you know this is what I've been using for a long time. And then at Walmart, I found this aches and pains soap, which just screamed self-care to me. So I needed to get it. And trust me when I tell you, this stuff was amazing. Along with that, I use a loofah to scrub my body. You can use this wash as a bubble bath and a body wash. Next is my Shea Sugar Scrub. This I will use this for my body in combination with this little guy. I'll use this for my feet and just scrub the heels of my feet and things like that. I made a mistake and bought shampoo instead of conditioner thinking that I was out of shampoo and not conditioner. So you will see later on that I only shampoo in the shower. And then I just have my regular Gillette razor and my shaving cream. This is my toothbrush. It has five different settings on it. White, clean, sensitive, polish, and massage. So I thought that was just really interesting to show you guys. I love this toothbrush. And then this is my essential oil diffuser. Today I'm going to be using the tea tree scent. It says use five to six drops onto this flower here. And this was amazing while I was showering. It smelled so good and it was perfect to really set the mood. So I start off by just warming my face with hot water just to open up the pores. And then I normally start with on my hair so I can just kind of get that squared away. I like to get my hair done first because normally when I condition, I'll keep it in the conditioner until I'm done washing my body and then I'll wash my hair out with my body, if that makes any sense. So that's why I like to do my hair first. Obviously today I won't be using conditioner in the shower because I didn't have any, but we make it work later, so it's okay. My first time using this Dove Soap shampoo and I loved it. It smells so good. I will let you guys know later on how beneficial it is to my curls because it's a specialized formula for curls. So I really did want to try it out. So if you guys want to know how that worked out for me, leave a comment down below. My favorite thing about shampooing my hair is that I really get to massage my scalp and massaging my scalp is like so soothing for me knowing that I'm grabbing all that dirt and really just washing my whole head of everything just is just so so satisfying for me so I love shampooing And then rinse it out. And then I just tie that up with a hair tie out of my face. Next, I wash my face. I love this little brush thing. I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply Store and it was super affordable and it's rechargeable and it's super cute. It's great for washing my face. I always use this in the shower to wash my face. It's really helped me get all that dirt up. It's way better than using my hands. So if there's one thing I would include in your skincare routine if you don't already have one is a brush like this. It doesn't matter the brand, honestly, it really doesn't. You just need something like this to kind of just really work in those pores. I also scrub behind my ears and down my neck because I kind of feel like I get a little bit of discoloration on my neck sometimes and I really like to get in there with that. And then you should just always clean behind your ears.
I then go in with a facial scrub. I didn't include this in the beginning, but it's just a facial scrub that I use. And it fights acne and all that good stuff. So I just lather that on and wash my face, being gentle, but also making sure I get everything off. And then once I've rinsed, I like to go in and shave whatever needs to be shaved next before washing my body. I don't know why I do this. It's just something I do. So I'm just going in with my Gillette razor and my shaving cream. A lot of times I prefer to use conditioner to do this, but like I said before, I don't have conditioner. I feel like conditioner really does keep your skin moisturized and shaving cream can be really drying. I then go in with this soap that was is meant for aches and pains and working my brand new job it's my body needed this so this was just amazing it smelled so good it was like aromatherapy and just like just therapy for my body all in one like it was everything my body needed and then I go in and I just exfoliate with my scrub all over all right you guys I'm fresh out of the shower I I've never done a routine like that before in the shower and I feel so refreshed and so good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop on some deodorant. This is Dove Advanced Care and the scent is Shea Butter. I'm gonna apply some deodorant and then I'm in need of some moisture. So I'm gonna be using the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion to cover my entire body in lotion. So I did want to mention that um, I do get waxes, Brazilian waxes, um, every once a month. So that means that aftercare is necessary. My, The woman who waxes me actually offered this to me. But what it is is an antiseptic cream. And what it does is it soothes and it moisturizes where you get your wax, obviously down there where you get your waxes and things like that. The purpose of this cream is to make sure that you're obviously moisturized and protected down there from infection and things like that, but also helps prevent your hair from growing back as fast as it might um, if you have very rapid hair growth down there like me. So this I would say has been helping a lot when I get my waxes. So if you get waxes, make sure that you ask for something like this. If your waxer hasn't already offered one to you, I think it's extremely important to have one. It has helped me so much with aftercare and it is an extremely important part of my routine. Next thing is I just put on some comfy sexy underwear just for me and an extremely comfortable pajama. Uh, this I bought at Walmart, it was super cute. I thought it was perfect just to throw on and lounge around and really just be in my own little space. And so as you guys saw, I went to the store and got the wrong fucking thing. I have two shampoos. It was a two-in-one conditioner. I explained it already. So now it's just time to deep condition. Hopefully this will save me. So this deep conditioner is from Soapbox, I think the brand is called. It's a coconut oil rejuvenating deep conditioner. This is only my second time ever deep conditioning in my entire life. Um, I'm just trying this out so I don't necessarily have an opinion on it yet but I know it's extremely important to deep condition every few weeks. So I have tried to make this part of my pamper routine because I think it's important to just take care of your hair and make sure that you're treating it as well as everything else. So I basically just work this through my hair and use my brush to detangle. I kind of lather it on there just because it didn't condition at all. So I really needed this to just penetrate my hair and moisturize it as best as possible. So I basically apply that to the from root to end, detangle, and then I just put a nice medium-sized twist in there.
I definitely would say that this deep conditioner left my hair pretty moisturized. It didn't feel stripped like it did after being shampooed, so I'm going to guess that it worked. My curls were also extremely shiny, you will see that later. Once I finish up this last twist, I'm just going to take a hair tie and tie it back and let the hair sit in this deep conditioner for the next few hours. So once that's done, I go in with a Biore pore strip on my nose. I've been finding that these past few weeks, my pores have been really clogged, so. And then I'm gonna be applying a clay mask. Clay masks are my favorite kind of mask to do. I do clay masks every two weeks. Sometimes I try to do them once a week. They're just really beneficial for my oily skin. They help keep me balanced, especially when I have breakouts or when I'm trying to prevent breakouts. It works so well. It helps to dry out my skin just enough. And this is a brand that is super affordable and I that I've been using for so many years. So if you've heard of this brand or seen it and you didn't know if it was worth it, it's definitely worth it. It definitely works. This is a regular like drugstore brand mask that works so if you have oily skin i definitely would recommend buying that mask it's amazing i then go and get myself some tea because i love some tea this is positive energy by yogi if you know anything about yogi tea you know it is the bomb so i'm just going to enjoy it in this cute little cup that i got from walmart it comes with a really cute lid and it was just really cute and nice to have. And tea is something that I just love. I then go in with a warm cloth and just wipe off the clay mask once it's done. I normally only leave the mask on for 10 minutes, no longer. You don't wanna let a clay mask dry out too much. You want your skin to be well balanced. So you want to only have the mask on there for as long as it takes for it to become semi-dry. I then took off the pore strip. Now, this is my first time in a long time using these regular pore strips. Ever since the charcoal ones came out, I've only ever used the charcoal ones. And to be honest, it only took out a little bit of something. Like I tried to show it on camera, but it really didn't focus, but it's just, it's a little something, something. So I'm not gonna say it didn't work, but like it didn't work as well as I'd hoped, but it's okay, I really can't complain. I'm then going in with some toner. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel. I love this stuff. On a cotton pad, just rubbed all over the face just to make sure that everything is nice and even and neutralized on the skin before we apply anything else.
I'm also going to go in with a little bit of this Pixie Vitamin C toner. I stopped using this because it made me break out, but because I kind of want to be a little bit more glowy and just have a little bit more of that glow from within vibe going on with my skin, I just pressed it into my skin a little bit just to put a little bit on there. And then I went in with my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and this is a serum that has tons of vitamins and all types of good stuff for your skin. I love this stuff. I've been using it for almost a year now, and it has changed my skin game. It's just changed everything about my skin. Like, it just keeps me under control. Then I go in with this Turbo Boost Hydro Gel. It's an eye cream, a hydro gel, eye gel by Soap and Glory. And I love this stuff. It goes on so smoothly and it's just a nice little massage for your eyes and the perfect excuse to give yourself a little mini massage there. I prefer this over cream because I've heard gel is way better to use on your eyes than eye cream. So I've made the switch to a hydro gel. And then I go in with my clean and clear moisturizer i've been using this for years it works it keeps me under control from breaking from breakouts and i've always loved it i then go in with a jade roller i love this jade roller make sure before you use something like this that you disinfect it in alcohol and all that stuff because you don't want any bacteria collecting in your pores on fresh clean skin so I just use this and press upward on my cheekbones and the sides of my face this is also a really nice massage it helps keep the blood flow going and it just promotes lifting and all that good stuff for your skin and this is how I'm feeling right now you guys I'm glowing my skincare routine always makes me feel so good gives me life so And then I figured, you know, it's time to stretch because I've just been so tight. I've been working. I've been on my feet. I have been nonstop now. So it is important that I take care of my body too and I stretch it out and I make sure that I'm not tense and I'm not, you know, stressing myself out or in pain or anything like that. So stretching has become a really important thing for me to do as of the past few months I just noticed such a change in my body and how I experience my pain is a little bit different so it's just nice uh, I definitely recommend stretching all right so as you can see I've put on a shower cap this is the closest to a plastic cap I'm going to get. This is just a Supreme um, shower cap that my girlfriend had and I sometimes use it as a plastic cap if I do things like deep condition and things like that. So my hands are gonna sit in here for a little while longer while I meditate. After that, I will rinse out my deep condition. I'm not going to record meditating or rinsing out my hair. I'm not gonna record me meditating because I feel like that's personal and it's something that I just wanna have for myself right now. It's something that I know that I need and I'm gonna get emotional about it because it's, I know it's something that I need right now so I want to do that off camera light off um, just kind of be in my head uh, what I have why am I about to cry I don't know why I feel like I just have a little bit more pent-up emotion that I'm you know letting on <laughs> so I don't want to record it I want to have this moment for myself um, so I'm going to do that off camera as well as rinsing out the deep conditioner. So now that my deep condition is rinsed out and I have meditated and I feel like 10 pounds lighter, I'm going to just twist my hair. I have a video on how I twist my hair, the products I use. I basically use the exact same products except I add mousse to this set of twists because I don't know, I was getting creative. Sometimes I'll add mousse, sometimes I won't. I just It just depends on how I'm feeling. So that's the only difference here. So if you wanna see that video, I will link it down below. But I already have a video out on how I do my twists. I just really like to do twists when I don't know what to do to my hair and I don't want it to dry just in its natural state and get all knotty and things like that. So it's just easier for me to put it in a twist until I figure out what I wanna do with my hair for the week. I might wear an afro, I'm not sure. 
I'm feeling a little, I don't know, we'll see. So. I then go in with my mega thick formula from Dugrow and just oil my scalp. It's always important to oil your scalp. This is also included in my video as well. I then massage that oil in. Sometimes if I don't massage it in well, it'll like drip down the side of my face. So it's really important to massage the oil into your scalp. Again, another excuse to give yourself a little mini massage. It feels great, it stimulates hair growth, it's amazing, it feels good, and it's just like the perfect little pampering for yourself. I then just tie that up because I'm gonna be editing for the next few hours and I really just didn't want my twist just like hanging around in my face and stuff like that. I then will sit down, turn on some Netflix, or in this case, Disney Plus, and I will drink my tea and edit for the next few hours. Honestly, you guys, editing has become one of my favorite things to do. I edit way faster. I'm doing more things, becoming a lot more creative with my editing and my videos. I hope that you guys are enjoying the new intro that I have done for these videos. I love it so much more than my first intro. I think creatively I'm becoming more in tune with what I like for these YouTube videos. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying them. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. If you like videos like this, please just give this video a like, leave a comment down below. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.